So I think something a lot of people don't still realize is that it's almost impossible to have everything. You can't have everything in life. It's um, ridiculous even to think that. You know, there's a lot of people, they are so engrossed in getting that they forget to enjoy life as a process. You forget that life is a journey. And when you are so engrossed, you just have only these goals and aspirations. They are the only things that are pushing you. And you tend to forget other things that are important in life, like family, like um, your colleagues. You tend to forget other um, important aspects, such as um, your own personal growth. But all you're just um, engrossed is just getting. You want to be the best in this. You want to be the best in that. You want to have that. You want to have this. At the end of the day, you end up not enjoying life because you just go through life having lived just halfway. You haven't lived life all through. And believe me, where you have a problem is when you are not going to have certain impediments that are going to um, inhibit you from getting those your goals. For example, someone is such a good getter in a particular sport and then for some reason can no longer use his legs and the person was an athlete. Now, because the person can no longer run, the person may go into depression because the person is like, I've lost the only thing that was enabling me to achieve my goals. But the person in um, is kind of myopic because he or she doesn't understand now that the person is still alive. You still, you still have life. You know, when there's life, there's hope. And the fact that you've lost your legs doesn't mean you don't have your hands. I've seen people, I've watched videos of people who were born lame or who were born um, blind. But these people, they've adapted and found new ways to use their bodies to still achieve the goals that they want. So for them, it's not just about um, the impediments that they have, but it's about the support systems they've built around them. And such people, if you check it, many times you're going to see that these people have very strong support systems around them, which will usually enable them to achieve these goals despite um, what life has given them or fitted them. So it's very important. I don't know how to say this enough, but it's important that we go through life understanding that um, you can't have everything and even if you were to have everything it's funny because then you see people who have um, who are born with silver spoons in court these people they have um, they have everything you can think of they have cars they have fame they have money and at the end of the day they are not still happy some even go as far as committing suicide and some people are like uh, if i had what this person had i would never even consider that why i would just enjoy my life and all that but truth of the matter is that if you don't have that innate understanding Oh, that 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 feeling of I think I should call it content contentment. If you don't have that feeling of contentment within you, no matter how much change you are going to have, you are still going to be unhappy. I mean, even rich people they keep chasing wealth. Even if they had the latest car that was just released, the latest Bugatti or Ferrari, before you know, the joy is short-lived, and before you know, they're unhappy again. So it's important, I think, we should consider that let your joy not just come from mundane things or from achievements that don't last somebody will come and break the record i mean football stars they make records today tomorrow the same record comes and being broken so your joy should not come from such things your joy should come from um other things that are not ephemeral things that are, are solid that you can hold on to your family um deeper understanding of your purpose and your sense of self-worth yeah so that's what i just think should drive everyone